ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to welcome to the program the great Jennings Randolph, Jr. Jay, good morning. Gentlemen, how are you? Oh, we're doing good. Good morning, Wonderful Jr. Kind, sir. Nice morning in St. Louis so for uh, the early portion of uh, November, no question about it. No. Um, I had asked him, well, let me first say, when I got my initial diagnosis of having cancer, nobody, and I don't want anybody to poo-poo this or Tim to say, no, 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 no. Nobody has been more supportive through this process than Tim McCurran. But on October 21st, I uh, found out that I had cancer of the liver, they believe, uh, predominantly. And had another test, had a lot of tests. I don't like tests. Um, and came to find basically last Thursday or Friday that I have terminal cancer and I have anywhere from three to four months to live. And uh, other than that, I was to play Mrs. Lincoln. Mm. So it's a shock for somebody who's 53. I can't imagine the shock it would be to somebody that's 53 as an, and hasn't had the unique, distinct opportunities that this 53-year-old has had to enjoy life and be around people like you guys, uh, the radio family, the golf family. You know, I was thinking the other day about some of the great pros and my teacher, Bill Hall, I mean, Phil Hewitt, who, who Tim learned about at Westboro and Billy Hall at Glen Echo and Dick Shaver and Mark Marcuso. And I, I'm not even going to mention Rocco Cifredi. Uh, <laughs> so leave him on that. So, I mean, it's uh, it's a shocker. I think you initially, I mean, when you sit down in a chair with a guy and you're thinking he's going to say, yeah, we can do this, we can do that, we can do chemo. I mean, he, you know, he's doing his job. He looked at me blank in the face. I said, bad? He said, real bad. Uh, three or four months. So at that point, your whole mindset changes. You start making, thinking about who do, do I need to make amends with somebody? How important is that? How important it is to be with the family? You guys know, no, I've been very fortunate to take my son three times in the last 16 months to Vegas. I've secured a tremendous late relationship with him. Think of all the people I've met through TMA. Um, and, uh, I'm going to be all right. I'll, I'll be okay. The, I, I, at this point, I feel bad for the people that, uh, you know, have, have shared a piece of the fun that I've had, like a Sarah B or a Jay Boyd. I've known that nut job next to you since 1992. <laughs> um, half the stuff we've done, we've forgotten. Um, he knows how much I love him. Um, and so Tim, it, it, uh, I appreciate you allowing me to come on and, and I'm true when I say I wouldn't make it up. Uh, you have been the most supportive through this whole time and, uh, you just got to keep on fighting. Well, as you know, I'm a, a big proponent of praying. I've been doing it my entire life. Um, I don't give up brother. I mean. You got to believe in miracles, man. You just pray every day, and um, I believe in miracles. Yeah, the, the the miracles need to kick over the medicine because the the spots that we're talking about in the lab, the the liver situation. Once your liver starts to head the wrong way, you got big problems. And uh, like I said, I mean there aren't a whole lot of fifty three year olds that played golf with Michael Jordan, sat on Ted Kennedy's lap, 
and it worked with Seiko. So <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I think if they give out a prize, you guys keep an eye on them because you know somebody who is. Now, Jay, I'm going to have uh, Madison tonight send you some feet pics. So I hope that'll, that'll make you feel better mm. as well. And, and I wasn't exactly sure out of my TMA familia who, uh, Exactly new to the extent I know that Kenny knew and I knew that Tim knew. Um, I was thinking about it last night. 1993. Jeff Smith, my uh, radio partner, and I signed a deal with John Kioski and Merrill Hansen to go on Big 550 Radio. So it, it's unique to see how things turn around and you see people grow and you see things happen. And uh, they've asked me three or four times in the situation that I'm at, what's most important? And it's comfort. That I'll be, I'll be glad straight with you. It's, it's comfort and being uh, at peace as the next couple of weeks play out. Jay, are you, are you still getting medical care? I went yesterday and had a CAT scan or where they put the beryllium in and you get hot for about 50 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I mean, I've probably had three CAT scans, two of the beryllium deals. Uh, they took out, I guess, Modern Amazing is incredible. They, they what, what the doctor... <laughs> The doctor called it a test sample. That's a biopsy is <laughs> when they take a test sample. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a nice way of putting it. And that really was the kicker where they found that there, whether it be chemo or some sort of radical treatment, the liver had become not strong enough to sustain that type of situation. And I've had a couple people come over. I, I wouldn't say that I'm the greatest man of faith. Don't uh, don't uh, have any disdain for those that are. But you know, they bring up bring over a guy one day, and I shake his hand, and he says, "I think you'll be cured." And I wanted to say, "Do you have the daily double at Keenan?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's 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 a process. And like I said, making some of those amends, especially, you know, that after when I got divorced at a, you know, 33 or 32, you, you lost, I lost a little relationship with my son for a couple of years. And I have completely regained that. And I'm at peace with my daughter. I got a great, uh, a fantastic life partner. I got people like Tim, Dave Green, Sarah B, Jeff Smith of Walters Golf Management, and there's a zillion of them out there. And I started to see some things come over the weekend, and I'm like, uh, I'd rather get a little ahead of the chase. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one of the things that I, I know that we're going to do, because that life partner is very involved in bereavement at Annie's Hope, there's a page, jrandolphjr.com. I'm not looking for money, even though I should be. Um, <laughs> we're going to send that to Annie's Hope if you'd like to make a donation. It will also be a place where you can post some things, see some pictures, maybe take a moment and enjoy uh, some of the times we've had. The website is J. Randolphjr.com. It uh, takes you to a GoFundMe. Uh, and also, there's some great pictures of uh, Jennings. Yeah, I, I, never, I never thought I'd have my own website. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting case to get it. <laughs> uh, and then it, all the pictures are there. Uh, I think what's going to happen here, I was texting with Sarah B. last night, Jennings, and um, this is, goes without saying, brutal, devastating. Um, people love you, and I think what you are going to experience here um, over the next uh, few days and weeks is finding out just how much people love you. I think you are one of the most well, and, likable and people that, I, that, I've, that I've gotten to know, and few people can tell a story like you can. And any time I knew you were coming in on the show, 
Um, right. It was a it was a kick in the ass because I was looking forward to it. Yeah, we, we both were looking forward to some things down the road, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes it rains. I've been piling up the losses in the rains. Well, you made a lot of people awfully, awfully happy and put a lot of smiles on people's faces for many years. I hope you can take some um, pleasure and happiness knowing that. Without question. I, I, it, it is amazing, and I don't think the listener necessarily relates to it unless they play maybe in some of the deeper games on the web or come to TMAs or do this or that. Uh, it's an ev- extremely loyal bunch. It always has been sponsor wise, support wise, togetherness, or, uh, uh, no, togetherness. And uh, Timmy, I, I appreciate you letting me come on. I think all of you know that I, I feel something for each and every one of you. You're unique guys. And I've been very fortunate to work with you. As I've said before, a guy said, Doug Vaughn's going to be on the morning show. I said, for what? <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> but, you know, God, Lord, whoever pulled that trigger was dead on. And, and to see the variations of Plowsy and Iggy working about 150 cities <laughs> and uh, my new Ledoux alum that's part of the team. And uh, the guy that got me started really listening to radio uh, away from the radio, uh, Tim McKernan. So I appreciate you guys for having me on. Check out the website. If you post something there, I'll try and get back to it. But there it is. Uh, And uh, keep me in your thoughts. I love you, Jennings. Yeah, I love you, Jay. We love you. Love you, Jay. All of you, boys. Love you, buddy. Thanks so much.